What's going on YouTube? This is Wasim from the Tech Boys and I have a video review of the Asus Transformer Prime. Um, this is Asus's latest uh, tablet. It's um, the new Transformer tablet. Um, it's packing a quad-core processor uh, clocked at 1.3 gigahertz as one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, the display is a 10.1 inch display. Um, it's IPS technology so you get great viewing angles at the front you do get a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera on the back there is an 8 megapixel camera with a flash um, as for the design I do like um, there's a little bit too much bezel for my preference but definitely a usable tablet um, if you're gripping it with your hand you, it's not going to get in the way of the screen um, on the back it's a full aluminum um, back cover um, it comes in two colors um, like a gray color this is the Asthmetic Gray, I believe. Uh, so you can see the Asus logo. Overall, it's a really great design, it's extremely thin. You get all your ports, like the uh, charging port, uh, HDMI, the lock button with the embedded LED light, headphone jack, and the speaker. And of course, this is a Wi-Fi only model. Of course, they have not said if they would get a 3G, 3G or 4G model. Again, this is it's running Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0. You recognize the lock screen on Honeycomb, but you do get a quick shortcut for camera, like we have seen on past. And for the most part, it's pretty much stock. Asus has added some custom widgets like the weather, uh, time and date, and the email. And of course you can see um, a widget for battery with the keyboard. I did not get the keyboard dock with this device. I tried to find one in time for the video review, but everywhere it's sold out and it would take a long time to ship out. So basically this is just a review of just the tablet. If I can get the, the keyboard dock in the future, I'll do a review with that. Overall, it's uh, extremely fast. You can just uh, go through your home screens fairly quick. And of course, um, ice cream sandwich, you can resize your widgets, so Asus has included that. And of course, things you will notice like the uh, multitasking bar, you can swipe away applications that you're not using. And the app drawer, Asus has put some preloaded applications like App Backup, App Locker, My Library, My Cloud, um, My Net. And some preloaded games like Global and of course Tegra Zone and Web Storage. And of course you also notice in um, Ice Cream Sandwich you'll notice the uh, apps and widgets are in one menu so you can just tap right here and you can take a look at all your widgets and of course just hold on to the widget and you can move it onto your home screen just like that pretty easy. And it's um it's pretty close to stock. Um, if you used Honeycomb before, it should be pretty easy. Um, at the notification tray, uh, Asus has also added some other custom custom things like using it in a uh, power saving mode to uh, save on power, balanced mode, and performance mode. And of course, IPS mode and super IPS mode, which basically uh is for IPS mode is for indoor use while super IPS mode is for outdoor use and it's basically just increasing the brightness of the screen the screen itself it's a uh, pretty nice it's nice and bright it's using IPS technology so uh, viewing angles is really well um, the text is pretty sharp now the only thing I'm worried is that the display is going to be outdated um, I've been hearing that some 1080p Android tablets are going to be coming out and iPad 3 is supposed to have to have double the screen res resolution as the current iPad so um, I'm kind of worried on the future on that but other than that the display is really nice compared to uh, current tablets um, the top left you do get a Google search bar with voice and a t all your applications your uh, navigation back home and the recently open applications and of course all your settings, your battery, time and date, and notifications were up here right at the notification bar. Let's talk about the browsing experience on the 
Transformer Prime. It's packing a quad core processor, so let's see how fast the browser is. I'm going to close all these current tabs I have open. And I'm going to open. I'm just going to go to Google. So it's going to be loading up Google right now. So pretty fast. Um, I'm going to search for our website, the the Tech Boys. Okay, it's searching. Um, I found a few links from our YouTube channel and our website. So I'm going to tap on that and it's going to be loading up. Okay, and it's uh, done loading. See, as you can see, it's pretty fast at loading the pages. Um, if you're expecting it to be uh, like twice as fast as some dual core tablets, it's really only like a few seconds faster. Um, the iPad 2 is pretty much right behind this device. Um, not extremely fast, but definitely a fast tablet. Now you can see uh, pinch to zoom is pretty smooth. Um, there is a little bit of jitters at times, but definitely still usable. Uh, scrolling through your pages, you do get um, like a scroll bar on the right side, which is nice when you want to zip through the page. And of course, some options like uh, request desktop site, uh, say for offline reading, has made their way onto this device from the, like the Galaxy Nexus. And of course, you can add new pages. You can refresh the page. So overall, a great browser. It's not. I expected it to be a little bit faster, but. Overall, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with the speed of the tablet. Alright, so of course it does have the front-facing camera. Um, it's a good quality, enough for video chats. I wouldn't use the tablet to take pictures of my friends. I would just rely on my um, phone to do that. And of course, you do get uh, Netflix if you want to watch videos, which I have been doing a lot of. And of course, things you notice like games. I have made a folder of that and we're going to take a look at Riptide. Riptide is a Tiger 3 grain and it basically takes um, the pro processing power of the Transformer Prime and I'm going to do a little bit of a demo and I'm not the greatest but I'm going to let's do a normal mode and I have beaten the game. It's uh, pretty fun. Um, it's a little bit short but you could definitely try to beat your time. And of course you can choose your uh, boat and you can play so I'm going to try to remove the glare and you can see how the water is like on the screen trying to play in and of course you can do like all your moves on here And it's definitely taking that um, the power of the Tega 3 and using it in the gameplay. And the game looks great. It's definitely like what I've seen on like, it's not like PS3 graphics, but it's pretty darn close. Especially on a mobile platform, this is pretty impressive. The controls are really nice. You can do like speed boost. Uh, yeah, this has been a quick look at the game. It uses the Tegra 3. It's definitely a pretty powerful processor. Um, battery life on the tablet is really nice. Um, I can get through probably two days on the battery. Um, watch tons of movies, surf the web, check my email. Um, if you're going to be streaming movies, you're probably going to get through a day, not two days. But if you have games downloaded onto the device, you can probably get through a day and a half on this device. Overall, great tablet. I wish I had the keyboard dock so I can show you guys a little bit of the features and how it would use, be used as a netbook, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, of course, this overall has been really nice. Um, you, Ice Cream Sandwich definitely made the tablet a great tablet. Before, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I would probably wait for other more powerful tablets with um, better resolution display. But Ice Cream Sandwich definitely made the tablet really impressive again thank you for watching this video um, give it a thumbs up if you like the transformer prime and uh, subscribe let me know what you think of the transformer prime and stay tuned for more videos thanks